In this video, we're going to be using Crown and Crane Amber Woods and the Charcoal Goods Level 2 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And before we get into the content today, I want to remind you that this video is sponsored in part by our good friends at Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and Twig right there for you. Uh, you can get a 5% off your order if you use discount code IMCDB. And remember, Leaf, care for the places you care about. And boy, we care. We care because we're going to have a great shave today. We're using the legendary Charcoal Goods. This is the level two. Amazing looking razor. In terms of artisanal uh, razor making, in my opinion, it doesn't get any better than that. Look at that fantastic honeycomb sort of design on the handle and just the color. The just... It's amazing. Sadly, Charcoal hasn't made razors for quite some time now. On their website, it does say coming back soon. So we'll hope they do because, man, they just make gorgeous looking razors. I think this is just one of my favorite razors of all time, looks wise. It's just really fantastic, different. There's nothing like it out there as far as I'm concerned. And these uh, razors are um, uh, individual. They have indiv individual serial numbers. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom, but... Uh, actually, I got this the year before last or last because I stupidly sold my first razor like this. And then Brian Lynch, an old friend, reached out to me because I made a video saying, I wish I hadn't sold this razor, and he uh, sold this one to me. So thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. And the blade in here today is Gillette Nasset. All right. The soap for today, which we haven't talked about, is Crown and Crane. We'll put it right there for you. Amber Woods. And I'm telling you what, the scent on this is fantastic. I love it. It's got a quite robust scent, at least medium to medium high. The price is great on this. $16.95 for five ounces or $3.39 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good price. Uh, I'm going to put the notes for you right here. Uh, orange, sage, patchouli, tonka. Uh, it's a really good scent. Kind of reminds me of uh, Hub City Morning Hike. So if you like that scent, you might like this one. I'm not sure it's exactly the same, but it is booming. It's bright and I love it. This is a tallow based soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. And it made an amazing lather easily, which you know is big with me. I want to make a lather easily. I don't want the soap to be soft and goopy and have to use two or three times as much product. This was soft, but it wasn't hard to work with. And that goes a long way with me, as you know. So let's get into it today. We've got a nice lather already whipped up in our Captain's Choice bowl, which, you know, I hold it up for no reason because I know you can't see the sheen on it. But trust me when I tell you, it is really, really nice stuff. But first, I almost forgot the Glen Helly Mister. We can't do that. Good old Glen Helly. Check out Glen, if you please. I'll link his uh, video below. Anyway, another guy I want to mention is Thomas. Thomas the Shaver asked me had I tried this scent, and I hadn't. And that, this was a good recommendation, Thomas. Thank you. I like this scent a lot. It is right up my alley. And let's get into it. Brush today is the. West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb, which you see right there. Man, this scent is good. Oh man, really like this scent a lot. And I hope you're all doing well today. I am doing well because we're getting a shave. I mean, you're doing well if you're getting a shave. I, t I look at it as uh, each morning I get up and I have an opportunity at another shave, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> so as, uh, as our buddy Silky, Creamy likes to say, shoot somebody a smile today, just, or say something nice, you know, um, brighten someone's day today. And this soap is brightening my day, let me tell you, because I love the scent on this. We will not spend all day lathering, even though we could, because let's face it, it is fun, <laughs> but we won't spend all day at it. We'll get our lather applied. There you see the nice hydration in the lather here. Easy to work with. Good price. Crown and Crane. In my opinion, you know, um, really an up and coming. Now, I know they've been doing it for a while and we're actually late to the game on Crown and Crane. Um, but man, it's good quality stuff. The price is right. I have yet to miss on a Crown and Crane. I'm like six for six, 100%. That rarely happens on sense with me. It's kind of like for me, the, the opposite of uh, Noble Otter where I, I struggle sometimes. Uh, with Crown and Crane, I've liked all six or seven that I've tried so far. So that is a excellent track record. And uh, not too long ago, Jason at the Razor Company stocked um, Crown and Crane 
um, at my behest. And thank you, Jason, for doing that because I have bought quite a few since then. And man, I like it. Now this one was sold out at the Razor Company, but I did put a link below for the um, Crown and Crane website if you're uh, interested. And let's get going with our charcoal goods level two. Again, it's it's sad that these. Uh, can you hear that? Oh, that's awesome. I love this razor. It feels really nimble too for some reason. Handle length is perfect. Can you hear that? Amazing feedback. I'm loving that. This is one of the best looking razors that I own. Um, by far maybe the best looking. I don't know. There's just, there's just something I think cool about it. It's almost gothic maybe. One time a fella said this looked like a uh, 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 Dracula's razor or something. That's cool. I don't mind that. It, it offers some really nice feedback here too. That is nice. Wow. Ooh. I don't remember it being so loud in terms of feedback, but that's okay. We like feedback. <laughs> and speaking of feedback, please comment below. Um, have you ever used a charcoal razor or is it on your radar? Are you interested? Also with Crown and Crane. I'll shut up for a minute so maybe you can hear that. Can you hear it? Nice. That is nice. I'm really digging that. That's phenomenal. I love this razor. I would call this level two close to medium perhaps. But again, my, uh, my efficiency meter is probably busted because I prefer a lot of efficiency. This one I think is far into mild entry level of medium, probably right in that medium range somewhere, most likely. Man, that is smooth as silk and there's really good slickness on the crown and crane today. It is really awesome. And this, folks, is why we do it. <laughs> Just, oh man. If you can't enjoy this, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and as you can see there, the uh, crown and crane, it's uh, rinsing perfectly cleanly from the razor, which means our hydration is on point, or at least it's a sign that it is. Remember, always hydrate that lather. Um, just go slow and easy. You can add hydration too quickly and create problems for yourself. Don't do that. Uh, remember, I have lather tutorials below, and I bowl lather. It's just the way I do it. You don't have to. You can face lather. It's really when it comes down to it. Make the type of lather that you like. But I always say, you know, slickness is really all about adding hydration to your lather. So if you achieve great hydration in your lather, almost any soap, including bar soaps, will be slick. And I've tried them, believe me. So you should be able to, uh, to shave and get enough slickness out of almost any soap if you hydrate it properly. Because I've used Dawn dishwashing liquid, I've used um, Irish Spring, and you can get, you know, sometimes we shave geeks make too much out of what is required in a soap in terms of the actual shave. Um, what's required, performance-wise. Um, you just need a good layer of slickness primarily. And then there are other qualities that we look for as well. You know, and some people really want post-shave conditioning and all that. For me, I always think the post-shave is uh, better achieved by using the products that are designed for the post-shave. Post-shave products is what I'm getting at. But if you enjoy, you know, the post-shave is part of your use case, that is okay. But I'm telling you right now, this stuff right here, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm lathering my ears and everything. <laughs> no problem, though. No problem. All right, let's go. We're going to shave the ears today. No, we're not going to shave the ears. But I might need to at some point, though, because you know how it is when you get older. Hairs just start popping up all over the place. You got to get your trimmers, folks. <laughs> all right, let's cut this back. Down here, because we don't need to shave clear down to the collarbone. Oh, that's good enough. Kind of a sloppy, uh, sloppy cleaning effort there. I had a sort of squiggly line. <laughs> oh, let's just get as good as we can so we can press on, because I know you folks have a lot to do today. I do too. So try to be uh, mindful of your time. And let's go, well, we'll, we'll do a two pass today. Although, man, whew, this is enjoyable. The scent on this is really good. Again, if you've experienced Hub City Morning Hike, I think it's in that realm. I don't know if it's exactly the same scent, but it reminds me of it. Um, 
And that is very good for me because I like that scent a lot. This razor here is just fantastic. I'll be really happy when uh, Charcoal Goods starts making razors again. I'm really looking forward to that. So I think it will give a lot of people opportunities, you know, to have things. And well, I like having things myself. I also like to hear about you guys when you get something you really love as well. That's part of the enjoyment for me. So let me know again, have you tried charcoal? Do you like charcoal? Do you want charcoal? <laughs> and also crown and crane. If you haven't tried crown and crane, give it a shot. The price is right. You know, it's good stuff. As you can see here, I'm uh, shaving over residual slickness and there is not a hint of any sort of tugging or skipping. And so the soap lather is on point. And that's what you want. Great slickness all the time. Well, we, I don't use this razor a ton. It's one of those razors I sort of use to treat myself. You know, I, I deny it or I deny myself use of this. So every now and then when I do use it, I'm like, man, I love this razor. Uh, and part of the enjoyment, which I know gets um, downplayed, the looks of the, of the razor will never shave you. I'm, I completely understand that. But there is a certain amount of enjoyment that you get from a well-built, um, razor an artisanal razor like this for sure there's just just there's joy in handling it there's that's easy for you to say right handling it <laughs> um, you know there's a joy if you have it maybe somewhere on display and joy to look at it and it brings additional enjoyment does that mean it shaves better than the next razor over there no not really not necessarily it is a good shaver. It doesn't mean it shaves any better than my, uh, you know, Razor Rock um, Lupo. Doesn't mean that at all, but I do enjoy this razor more. And so, especially since I, like I said, I try to use this once in a while because it's special. You know, and now and then you treat yourself to something special and this is one of those times. You just feel good about using certain equipment <laughs> and this is one. So we hope to see Charcoal back soon. It says on their website they're coming back soon, but I think it's been that way for a while, so who knows? They were moving and doing all kinds of kind of stuff, but the Crown and Crane is readily available, so check it out if you please. And I have to thank uh, Instagram gent, I think his name is Brian, and Brian, if I got that wrong, I apologize. Um, he's the one that put me on the Crown and Crane, and like I said, I'm either six for six or um, seven for seven. I have liked every scent I've tried so far. So that is good. That's really good. And I can't say that with very many brands. So Crown and Crane did not disappoint today. And uh, the old charcoal goods here certainly did not disappoint. This is just an awesome razor in my opinion and I love it. All right, that was an excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camp. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we used our trusty Razor Rock alum, no stinging, so that was a super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles and troubles, and that's how we do it here every day, or at least it's how we try to do it. I wanna remind you, if you're getting nicks, cuts, creepers, and weepers every single shave, you may wanna revisit your technique, maybe don't make as many strokes. The goal of the shave should be to get the most comfortable close shave you can get without bloodshed. It's not a problem to get one every now and then, but if it's a daily occurrence, you know, work on the technique, um, maybe your angle and the amount of strokes you're doing. Anyway, just a little <laughs> tidbit helpful advice there, at least I hope it's helpful. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then we used our magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is the cucumber uh, variety. Again, excellent shave today with the legendary charcoal goods with the, I believe this was called the hammered handle, if I'm not mistaken, just awesome razor absolutely loved it it was fantastic and the gillette masset blade was excellent in it crown and crane they do it once again um like six for six or seven for seven really excellent soap especially for the money not hard to work with pros pretty much everything um no problem whatsoever with the crown and crane it's accessible it's affordable the quality is good uh, no no uh no cons whatsoever with the razor here a uh, pros excellent Looking razor, great shaver, great looking shaver. Cons, not available. That's pretty much the only con associated with this. And also the 
Also, it's expensive too, so charcoal goods, you know, pricey premium razor, but awesome shave with that. All right, we also use today our uh, honeycomb, uh, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb, boy, sometimes I struggle, <laughs> honeycomb brush with the Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, uh, Captain's Choice Bow, and we're gonna finish it out today with, what are we gonna use? Oh, we're, this is another one that I'm trying to put a, a dent in. This is a Sterling, uh, Mountain Man, which smells like Creed uh, Silver Mountain Water, I believe, and this is gonna be a nice close to a really excellent shave. And I hope wherever you are, oh man, that's great. Woo, just smells fantastic. I hope wherever you are that you have excellent shaves as well. Thanks so much for joining me again, as always. Tomorrow we'll back, be, back, be, 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 be back again, <laughs> God willing. Sorry about that super tongue twisted today. I don't know why, but I hope you all have a great day. Thanks as always. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, Ryan, you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.